Hello everybody and welcome to Flooded Caves. This is a little game that, or toy even, that was made in uh, 48 hours for Ludum Dare 50. This is I think like the third or fourth game now that I've done uh, for Ludum Dare 50, but uh, I've, I've been digging into it. It's been fun. Anyway, uh, this is using uh, the Pico 8 um, and is a very simple digital toy. Uh, it's a little physics -y sandbox is probably the best way to put it. Um, where I didn't actually intend on doing that, but uh, where you uh, essentially have to navigate water around people that are trapped in caves. Uh, we do have some very basic options here. We can turn sound off, we can do full screen on or off, and uh, fiddle with the controls, but they're, they're quite simple. Like, I, I'm just using the, it's a basically a point and click mouse game. Um, we do have some difficulties here. So there's uh, super easy, normal, hard, and really hard. I think we'll play on normal. Um, I, I, I've, I've, managed, I've beaten the game on normal, I haven't beaten it on really hard, I haven't tried hard yet, and I haven't tried super easy. So we're just gonna play it on normal and just, uh, Take a look at this, right? So the point of the game is to save people from flooding water. Um, this game is totally free, of course, because it was part of the game jam, and links are in the description if you would like to download it. It is available on itch.io. Uh, if you want an app, because uh, I, I, I talk about quite a few games that are on uh, itch.io, if you want an app that will just um, load all the games automatically for you and automatically update it, just go to itch.io slash app, and you'll get like a Steam-like launcher, uh, which will launch all of your games. <clears throat> so let's jump in. So it's flood season. Uh, you must delay the rising water unt uh, until you manage to save everyone. Uh, dig the rock to direct water uh, to empty the caverns while avoiding crowding, drowning people uh, st stuck in the caves. Uh, your digging power is limited and recharges over time. At, at a regular interval, you can save everyone by sending your rescue team. Uh, press C button or mouse click to start. So essentially, the way this works is we have two bars, right? You have your digging power, which is your green bar, which just recharges over time, and then your your rescue team loading bar. So when your rescue team loading bar is full, you, it gives you it slows down time and it gives you the opportunity to rescue one person. Uh, and then you can click to dig through rock as long as this is here. The water's gonna be steadily flowing in, so you're, we're gonna want to build pockets of air to like manipulate the water physics. So here we go. We get our little randomly generated thing, and we've got these little people around here. So. The water's filling up, our rescue team is loading up, and we're gonna start knocking it down. So we're actually gonna prep this a little bit, and then go, wait until that fills up just a little bit more, and then go thunk, down to there. And that's the gameplay. It is a very simple digital toy. It kind of reminds me of uh, some games that I played on um, various uh, flash sites back in the day. Uh, we got water going on the side there, so I gotta get rid of that and fix that. Um, because I need that gone, like, stat. We can rescue somebody. Let's get you first, because you're gonna need to get out of there. Enjoy your jetpack there, friend. Um, I think that we're gonna kind of fill out this bottom bit down here, and once again, we can knock out dirt as long as we have that green bar that's full. It's a pretty quick little arcade game once it gets rolling, and actually gets kind of anxiety-inducing towards the end. It's a fun little toy! I, 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 I don't know. Uh, the, I, I haven't fully figured out what to do with this YouTube channel yet, I'll be honest, and I've just been playing games from Ludum Dare and enjoying them, so... This is what I've been messing with recently, and I, I like procedural generation, I like random levels, and I, I think that many of you may know at this point that I do enjoy a good score attacky arcade game type thing. And this tickles me in like the kind of sand game way. There is actually some slowdown in this. I mean, it is uh, designed for the Pico 8 after all. Um, so it, it, it does kind of feel like those old sand games that used to run in Flash, um, where you know, you just have this big, Phys like sandbox physics thing. I'm gonna turn down the music a little bit because it is kind of loud. Uh, but where you'd have like this big sandbox uh, physics uh, setup where you can just move sound uh, sand around and then drown stuff, yes or no. And th those those were good fun. And this reminds me of those, but I, I kind of like almost nostalgic in a way because of the style that it comes with. The music is catchy but kind of repetitive. But the game sessions are not particularly long. I think the, the, the longest session I had was when I was playing on hard, and I paused a couple of times. It took me about 10 minutes to, to finish the whole map, so... I do really like this kind of idea. It's 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 a neat little thing that was made in 48 hours for Loot of Dare. Uh, so that's pretty much all I really have to say about the game itself. So we're just gonna kind of play out the rest of it. If you want to try this thing, like I said, it is free. So I do re recommend just go, go give it a download and mess around with it for a little bit. Let me know what you think in the, in the comments, especially uh, if you if you enjoy it. Um, and also, uh, because it's on itch, you can leave comments on this on the itch page as well. Tell the devs you sent me, and uh, go uh, go go leave them a comment there as well, because uh, this little physics sandbox is neat. Like I, I it's. Another thing that it's been reminding me of is I, I played a little bit of Noida. I, admittedly, my eyes weren't good enough to ever actually get good at Noida, um, but I do very much enjoy 
um, the physics and the sandbox kind of aspect of Noida. It's time to drop, pull somebody else out. Let's try and get these two out, and then we can start filling in this corner. Um, but I do enjoy the sandbox uh, physics aspects of Noida, but always kind of wish that it was a different kind of game because that sort of run based -y wizard platformer uh, just never... It, it wasn't something I could get good at because, like, single pixels in that game can kill you, and I would never be able to see, or I wouldn't ever see half of the... Um, uh, projectiles coming, I would just die without knowing what hit me, and that was not really a fun experience, so I, I didn't enjoy Noida as much as I wanted to, unfortunately. But this kind of, it, it gives me that same satisfying feeling of like, ooh, physics, I like this. I'm kind of hollowing out this bottom area down here so that when we get to the last few, I can just drain, like, dump all of the water down here. That's kind of what I'm working on right now, so I think we're going to do this first, though. This is going to bring a bunch of water out all at once right now. And then we're going to do that right there. So that's going to hopefully fix this screw-up I've got right here. I'm just going to break out some of this right here, so hopefully that stops flowing. All right, we're good. That's concerning. We may lose one. Let's just drain that water out. All right. Pop that down there. Drain this down a little bit more. But this is, this is where the game gets cool. Um, obviously, because this is a game jam, I don't really expect this concept to get expanded on much, and because it does run on the Pico 8, it is very much a, this is a simple game, and that is the point of this, and I understand that, but I, I, I like these physics games. I, I, I like messing around with liquids and uh, seeing what kind of weird Rube Goldberg machines I can come up with. Another thing that this kind of reminds me of, just as the visuals, is uh, Lemmings a little bit, except the point is like the opposite of Lemmings, where in Lemmings you want to kill everything, and, uh, well, maybe not kill everything, but you just watch your guys die so that a few can survive. Whereas this, it's like you're trying to rescue everybody, playing kind of search and rescue a little bit. And I, I, I enjoy the concept. I, I've, I've been having fun with this. The water physics do get a little wonky in places, but like considering the amount of memory this game is using by I'll be that basically nothing, uh, it's quite neat and a, a good little bit of fun. Two left. One here. There you go. But I, I would love to see other materials in an idea for a game like this, you know? Like maybe if you start chunking out sand, then it starts to fall slowly too, and then you've got a different material to, like structural integrity would be a lot of fun in something like this. Like, I'm just imagining a game like this, but in an engine as complicated as Noida, and just going, oh no, I would, I would just sit around for hours and just doodle around with it and play with it. Yeah, there's the lag. That's what I was talking about. A little bit of uh, bottlenecking there and what it's capable of, but that's the last human. We saved him. We did it. But yeah, that is um, Flooded Caves. It's free on itch.io. Um, it has a few difficulties. So if you want to try and beat it on really hard and, you know, take a look at it like this, redirect all the water over here and avoid that and drowning everybody, you could go do that. Go give it a try. It's completely free. Loot them dare. Game jams. They're cool. We need more of these things. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this of weird games you haven't heard of, free games and paid games alike, Go over to my YouTube channel. I just have a massive list of them at this point, and it's just going to continue extending. And if you like the sound of my voice and you uh, want to see me live or listen to me on a podcast, I have a podcast at halcyonfrequency.com, and you can watch me live on twitch.tv slash blindirl. If you want to support the work that I do, you can go over to patreon.com slash blindirl, and also there's more Dwarf Fortress on my YouTube channel than you could reasonably watch in a lifetime. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.